Cool Jazz by Men I Trust. Okay, I'm like, like 50 pages in and not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling this book, so I'm not gonna force myself to read it. I shall send it back to the library because, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it at all. I just don't care. I don't care about the characters or anything. I just don't care. So... I shall go send this back to the library and start a new book. It's for my own pleasure, so if I don't like it, I should just stop forcing myself and drop the book. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. Anyways, I'm glad that I gave up on the book. I felt so relieved after, so don't feel guilty about not liking your book and not being able to finish it. You gotta know your limit, and sometimes giving up is the best decision for you. Um, this advice does not apply for all of your situation in life, just know that. It's 3 p.m. And I'm already in my PJs. So before starting a new book, I always have this little ritual that I do. So first of all, I go on Goodreads and I add the book um, that I'm currently reading in my reading log. Just so that I can have my stats at the end of the year. So what's the name? The Very Secret Society. Wait. Uh, and then I also go on Storygraph because I use both. So once again, The Very Secret Currently reading, boom, there you go. And also, like I said earlier, every time I start a new book, I pick an album that I listen to at the same time. And lately, I've really been wanting to listen to more of um, Lamp, which is a Japanese... Lulu. This dude just peed on my floor. <sighs> Anyways, I've really been wanting to uh, listen to Lamp, which is a Japanese band. So I'm just gonna pick an album. Um, wait. And yeah, I'm gonna start reading now.
So I'm almost at the 100 page mark. But so far, I really like this book. It's like really cute and cozy. And yeah, honestly, it would be a perfect book to read during spring, but it's okay. But yeah, it's so cute. I really like it. And I'm glad that I decided to switch books because I don't know. I was like not even 50 pages in, like into like the Atlas Paradox, and I was just like not feeling it at all. I was like kind of avoiding reading because I just didn't want to read that book. So I'm glad that I decided to drop it and start a new book. Right now I'm at page 117 and so far it's still good. Like I said yesterday, honestly I really like the vibe of the book. It's just really 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 cozy and the story kind of reminds me of this other book. I think his name is The House on the Kushulin Sea. I read it like last year. Sometimes I want to read like some less intense fantasy and this feels perfect like the story is not too heavy and there's not like you don't have to learn like a new universe or anything which is nice and it's very easy to get into 
So I'm gonna go to Starbucks near and continue reading out there. To my desk and also peeped the new hair mm -hmm. shout out to my sister she killed it anyway so I finished the book and my little ritual after I finish a book is every time I finish a book I write in it basically <clears throat> I just like write my reviews and my thoughts on the book and yeah I think it's a nice way to document all of my reads and yeah, you know me, I love journals, so I have a journal for almost everything. So I was like, why not have a book journal too? So I started this journal in 2021 and yeah, it's it's starting to get thick. Well, actually, I want to talk a little bit about the book. So first of all, I am going to give it, let's rate it first. So Papito, please. So yes, I'm going to talk about the book first a little bit and let's start with the rating. I usually rate... Um, with like on a scale of five stars so for this book i will give it five stars and let me explain to you why because first of all um i love that the main character was a brown woman you know it feels nice to have some women of color as main characters in like fantasy and stuff it was yeah so that was number one and also um i like that it was fantasy but like not too draining to read because like it was just cute and cozy i don't know how to explain it like you didn't have to learn a new universe because it was literally set in england if i remember well like somewhere in england yeah it was look yeah the story was located somewhere in england so i didn't have to learn like a new world 
that the author like uh, invented and like new words that I was just confused about. So that was nice. So it was kind of a quicker read than my usually than my usual um, fantasy reads. And yeah, also uh, it had some romance and with my favorite trope, which is sunshine and grumpy. And I really yeah, it's really nice. It's one of my favorite tropes. I don't know. I really love the sunshine grumpy trope. Grumpy trope. And yeah, also I like that the book didn't focus entirely on romance, it was mostly fantasy. Yeah, and also another reason that I really like this book is because like I said earlier in this video, it, remind, it reminded me of another book that I read, which was called The House on the Crystalline Sea. And it kind of has a similar like storyline of like um, uh, having like a caretaker come live in a house with like magical creatures and everything and then they kind of form like a dysfunctional weird family yeah and i really like this kind of book and also this book reminded me of one of my favorite movies which is kiki's delivery service um it's a studio ghibli movie i don't know yeah i don't know it just reminded me of this movie and this movie for me is like the ultimate definition of cozy and cute so i was like you know what i'm gonna give you five stars already so yeah that's basically my thoughts honestly uh i don't have anything bad to say about it but i will say that if you're looking for a, a book with like a specific plot definitely don't pick that one up because that one is more like just vibes like there is a plot but it's not like uh not strict i don't know how to explain it it's just you know, you're reading the books, it's just vibes. Like, there is kind of a plot, but at the same time, it's not the most important part of the book. I don't really know how to explain it better than that, but if you read it, I think you'll understand. But, yeah, other than that, I really like the book. And it was nice to read this book after reading, like, a heavy... Uh, yeah, after reading, like, a heavy fantasy book i felt like this was a perfect book to just relax a little bit from all of the big like fantasy series because i read the atlas six and then i tried reading the atlas paradox but it was a flop because i was just like not in the mood anymore uh it was just like too much for me i don't know like this book it was just like making me think too much and i just wanted to relax and i had to reread pages because i just did not understand what the hell they were talking about so then i just decided to drop the book and move on so i'm glad that i started this book instead